Child, it seems every day, <laughs> like this day right chimp, people are testing me in particular, my last nerves, like bungee jumping off of it, I'm telling you. Now, is your mama in your business? Yep, she tried it. Your friend spilled the tea when it wasn't hers to spill. <laughs> yep, they sure did try it. Now, sometimes you just need somebody to step in and tell you, child, that was shady. <laughs> now, lucky for them and for you, <laughs> you got me to call them out. Won't he do it? <laughs> That's right, y'all. It's time for You Tried It. You tried it. They tried it. Oh, she tried it. You tried it. particularly ready for this this day, all right? Yes. What okay. do we have? All right. <laughs> to start, we've got a fan in the audience with a question. Asia, where are you at? Hi. Hi. So, Asia. Hi, Tamar. Hi, Hi lady. What Hi. do you want to ask Tamar? Okay, my question is, I'm a stay-at-home mom to four kids, yes. ages wow. two to nine. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay. So, um, every once in a while, my girlfriends will ask me to go places, like, out to eat or to the movies or dancing, and I turn them down because I'm tired. Right. So, when I tell them I'm tired, they say things like, why are you tired? You're home all day. They think just because I'm home, I lay around and watch TV. <laughs> Do you think they tried it, Tay Tay? <laughs> I mean, I feel tried off of that, you? I do, too. In my opinion, I mean, they can't be no kind of friend. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Because if they was your real friend... They would help you. They would definitely be like, you know what, girl? Let me tell you something. So week after next, get you a babysitter, child. Yep. You want to take you out. You have been at home all the time with your kids. You need a break, girl. That's how they need to break it down to you. So they definitely tried your patient. <laughs> and they selfish. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome, Thank girl. You. Don't talk to them no more. They ain't your friend. <laughs> okay, we got another one. Next up, Jessica from Minnesota wrote in and said, Hey, Tamar, my cousin and I both had babies within about a year of each other. Mm. We grew up together, but we've never been especially close, more like she's always treated me like her rival. I was the first to give birth to my daughter, and I named her Lillianne. But a year later, my cousin gives birth to her baby, and mm. get this, what? she names her Lilliana. No! All she no. did was add an A to the end. What do you think, Tamar? What you mean she can't help but feel is a little shady? I mean, that feeling of discernment that you have is shade, okay? <laughs> like, what you mean? Oh, my wow. God. You gonna name your child Lily Anna? Let me tell you something, punk and schmunkin. <laughs> <laughs> your cousin, just because that cousin don't mean that's your family, okay? She's jealous of you, always gonna be jealous of you, always gonna copy off you, leave her alone, all right? Stay far away from her, don't tell her none of your business. If she's at a family function, do not go to the family function, okay? And then if she go to the family function, she'll be like, you know what, you tried it. <laughs> you said yeah. funky schmunky, that's like Lillian and Lillian and yeah. <laughs> Somebody would. Wow. Logan and Logan on a girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally, we've got a video oh, yeah. from Jay Lynn in Anaheim, California. Right. Take a look. <laughs> Hello, ladies. My name is Jaylyn Blackwell. I'm from Anaheim, California, and this question is for Ms. Tamar. So here's the thing, girl. I've been dating since middle school, high school, and that led my father and stepmother to sit me down and tell me that men are not attracted to big women. This bothered me, shocked me, girl. Like, this affected relationships for years. And I'm have a man now with a beautiful child and I'm so big but I need to know was what they said shade or was it the real? Let me know. That's your daddy? <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something, baby. <laughs> Evidently somebody like it. Don't you got you a man? Don't you got your baby? Let me tell you something from somebody who likes them a little thick. <laughs> you tell your daddy, guess what, daddy? Ain't God good, won't he do it? You ain't got to worry about it. How about that? Jenny <laughs> <laughs> bless you. Oh, God. That's yeah. a good one, Tay Tay. Yeah. Oh, he tried. Yes. Oh. And tell your daddy, quit trying you, all right? <laughs> That's crazy. That's so, that, why oh, would you I say enjoyed that? this so much. Me, you are me. so hilarious. Yes, because I'm in my feelings right now. <laughs> yes, <child. laughs> You're feeling it for all these people. That was nicely done, oh, Tamar. God.